to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we have more Christmas and it is filling me with lots of joy. So I'm going to be looking at my dining table today and starting to design that. So I'm going to take you to Inspiration Wholesales. That won't be until tomorrow, but we're going there to get all the bits and then I'll be able to show you. And on my last video, when I put up my Christmas tree, loads of people were saying they want the links for everything. And I'm like, 90% it, of it's from Inspiration Wholesale, which is I've got a website, so you can go on there. But I can't link all my bits because I've got lots of different berries I would be there all day so I'll leave the link below for just inspiration wholesale that's just not an ad or anything I just love their stuff and I'm going tomorrow so I can show you a little bit around and yeah but I just wanted to just because I, I link everything in my videos if you go back in them I'll everything that I'm showing you I'll always link where possible but I just think with Christmas decorations there's so many that it would just take me forever to, to pick out all my berries because I've got 15 different styles and then my oh yeah but anyway so yeah I'm going to focus my energy into the dining table so so I've emptied that, so you will have seen it in my last video if you watched it, that I cleared that from all the autumnal stuff. So now I need to start planning what the Christmas design of that's going to be like, and I'll do that from start to finish. I have no idea. I was on Amazon last night having a little look at some napkins and stuff, so everything that we're doing we'll do together. So that's super exciting. I am um, my Christmas tree video. I just wanted to thank you so much because I've been on there having a little look. It's doing really well. You guys seem to be loving it. The comment section is warming my heart every single day. I've been in London and stuff, so I've not had time to sit down and just really thoroughly re like reply to everyone yet. But I just wanted to let you know thank you so much um, for everyone who interacted and sent me love on my Christmas tree. So also today I need to head upstairs because I have the carpet going down in six days. That's a little bit scary because when I take you upstairs and show you how far along I am, I'm not doing very well. Like yesterday I did put the skirting down and the architraves on but I have so so much to get done so today is going to be full of DIY which I won't just film all the DIY because I feel like you're going to be like fed up of me doing that but I'll take you up show you where I'm at and then I'll show you where I finish and then tomorrow morning I'll be excited because then we get to wake up and actually do go shopping and then after shopping I'll do my dining table which amazing today i've been up and getting stuff done i've had that washing on the dishwasher's on at the minute like my house and, and i know i've said it before but my house has been upside down my suitcase from london is here like i've still not even unpacked that's how like literally got home was upstairs doing the skirting and stuff doing all that until late last night and then i woke up this morning and i was like i need to I need to get stuff done in this house. So when I woke up, I was like, right, wash machine on, dishwasher on, let's get it done. So this evening, I'm going to do lots more of that. But yeah, that needs sort. But anyway, let me let me show you the empty dining table and I'll show you what we're going to be working with when we go shopping so that you can have an idea for what's in my head. And then I'll take you upstairs and I'll show you what's going on. And also, if I look super tired today, I'm so sorry. I didn't have the best sleep last night. I'm not going to lie. Like... You know when you just feel a bit tense. So I'm all a little bit like, I just, I didn't get lots of rest. So that's why. So if I do look a little bit like me, just pretend I look perfection. <laughs> right, let's go. It is really dull today. It's actually like 10 a.m. And I've got all the lights on just because it's so dark in here. It's probably not helping with the Christmas tree blocking a lot of the light that would normally come in. However... So, the, yeah, the dining table's clear. I've loved actually having it clear for, a, a, like, a couple of days because it was obviously had the autumn display on there for quite a while. And then I'm going to put a Christmas one on there. And then I think straight after Christmas, I think I'm going to keep it clear until spring. So, yeah, that will... Um, I've actually enjoyed having nothing on there. But, yeah, so the plan will be is to get some sort of garland. I've got a runner that's similar colour to the chair, so I don't know whether to use that or whether I need to get something different. But yeah, I'll do that. I'll have some sort of garland in. I think I'm going to stick with the berries, so similar to what I've got over here. I think how pretty would that be in the little napkins, just having that little display. 
and then maybe having some of the berries throughout the garland on the dining table, maybe some of these acorns. Yeah, so I think just having similar, keeping the theme running through, particularly with the colours and stuff, um, and that will run down the middle, have some candlesticks, get some candles, and then maybe some charger plates with, with some plates and napkins and, and little bits and bobs on there. And then I've got this floral display over here, which is quite autumnal, so I need to consider changing this out as well to something a little bit different. So you can help me plan that. But yeah, that's what's going to be going on, on up here. And now I'm going to take you upstairs and we can have a little look at the guest room. So a reminder, I have six days. Six days and this carpet is going down, so this room needs to be fully painted, fully panelled, everything done that's messy. So, let me talk to you about what I'm going to be doing today. So, you can see, and if you've been following along, you'll see I've been trimming out. So this trim here, I've got quite a lot of them that I need to get done, so I need to trim these, these ones. Once that's all done, I'm going to then hammer all the nails in. So when you're panelling, sometimes you'll have a little nail that will stick out a little bit. And you may just need to um, poke it in and then put filler over the top of it. You have to put filler over the top of all the nails. So all these will have to be banged in and have filler. So if I can get all this trimmed out today, the rest of these, that will make me super happy because as I'm as I'm trimming them out, when I see the sticky out nails, I'm going to bang them in. And then maybe this evening or tomorrow after shopping, I can go round, fill and cock. Then that means Monday, maybe I could get a lot of the painting done. And then hopefully we're, all, we're sorted. And I need to sort this wardrobe because I'm going to be panelling around it so if I can get that done either today or tomorrow that would be fabulous um, but yeah I've got the architraves on so let me show you the architraves that I've gone for these are from a company called Skirting For You and they're just absolutely stunning it all needs filling all the holes all that sort of stuff. I've got holes in here this needs sorting this one here is hanging off that's why there's a big gap there that all needs to be replaced but yeah I need to get all this filled there's one up by the picture light up there as well that needs to fill. So as you can see, I have my work cut out for me. So I'm, oh, I've got the skirt on as well. I don't think I should actually show you it. But look, they're massive. I went for 25 centimeter skirting boards. So I just think they'll look so good when it's all cocked and painted. And the one thing that I did is I do not have enough skirting board. This little bit here is the bit that I didn't have enough. That's how much short I was. So that makes me sad. However, I'm going to have this skirting board in my office. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this part off. I'm going to get into carpet. And once I'm doing my office one, I'll order enough to do that. But I don't want to. I think the delivery was quite expensive, if I remember. Or you have to order so much and I'm not ready to order the stuff for the office yet, so that's the plan. But anyway, I'm going to get cracking on with this. You'll know I love to put a movie on, so I'm going to be doing that, and I'm just going to get in a zone, and I'm going to crack through it all, and then, yeah, we will be good. Pray for me, but I've got this. We can do this. I'm doing this thinking that you're all cheering me on. <laughs> I will get through it. I also managed to get the flooring up as well. So, for such a small room, I've took on the biggest task by doing this panelling and then obviously creating all this little built-in area over here. But when my guests come, I just want them to feel like they're in a little escape and effort's been put in. And it's not just a, it's not just an afterthought. So yeah, a lot of love has gone into this room, but I think it will be worth it. I have got loads done today. So all of these have all been done now. All these are done. Just my luck. That's how much short I am.
<laughs> that one piece and out of all these that's not going to be yeah see the bottom part oh wait a minute <gasps> I think it may fit I've literally been downstairs looking it for all scraps ah, let me try this it fits it fits oh my god That was the end piece off of that pit, but I had been downstairs because I literally only had one full piece left to try and do these two squares. So I was sort of like trying to get leftover bits from around. But surprisingly, you would think this would fit. It just doesn't. Um, it's much bigger than it looks. So, but yes, I'm so happy that I managed to get that done then. So yeah, now that's all the trim done in this room. I am super pleased. So... I even did it in this part here, so I've just done one big long one around the wardrobe just to frame that out. And then all these are done. Oh, this side is done. Oh, this side is done. And over here is done. So, it is so much later, it took me way longer. I mean, I knew it was going to take long, so it's not longer than I was expected, it's just a long time. So, I framed around that as well. But so next steps, as I've been going today, I've been trying to hammer as many little nails in as possible. So next steps is tomorrow, once I get back from shopping, I'm going to start, um, make sure all the nails are hammered in, fill, sand, caulk, and then it'll be to get the, start to get the paint on. So hopefully I can get a lot of that done tomorrow. I have been a man on a mission today. And I am super pleased that I managed to get that trim done. Once I had done all this part and this little bit up here and that bit, I was like, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow. And I was like, no, stop with that. So I just cracked on and got it done. And then these two, this bit of trim needed to be fixed because of this. So I was like, oh, I'll just do all that tomorrow as well. And I was like, no, I'm just doing it because then I'll feel so much better once it's all done. Yes. So trim's done, skirting's on. I need to do this little bit down by the socket under there. But other than that, I'm quite happy with how all the trim looks. Now it's just a case of getting it prepped ahead of painting. <sighs> Yay! Jingle them bells and frolic Oh my gosh, some stolly eggnog, gin and tonic make you tight, gay and jolly. Same procedure every year. I just can't get enough. I drink till Rudolph reappears. I toast to him that red nose beer. Jingle them bells and frolic. It's the best day of the year. So this is me currently in Inspirations. This is where I get the majority of my Christmas decor. So I've got most of my berries from here and then all the little trinkets that I've got on my tree as well. As I mentioned before, today I'm on a bit of a hunt for some more berries for my dining table display. But I thought I would take you around and just show you some of the amazing bits that they have in. They have got every single colour so depending on what your style of tree is you will find something to fit your theme and this was a 15 foot tree guys like I wish I could fit it in my house <laughs> sadly I couldn't and then they've got like a red theme this is like the candy I think this is quite popular at the minute and then more of an autumnal tree I think this is more for your autumn decor and the florals in here like this is where I get all my florals so the ones that I've got on beside my dining table on the console table all of that's from here and as you've just seen I got all my berries I then headed over to HomeSense which I just decided to have a little look around there before I headed home to get stuck in to some more DIY let's sing and dance and cheer it's the best time of the year the best day of the year. Yes, it is the best day of the year. Here 
Oh my god, it is so wet outside today. But I thought I would come on. Yeah, it's so wet. But I got some bits for the dining table, so I thought I would show you some of the bits that I've got. When people would ask me about all the different types of berries, I get quite a few different ones. But these ones I'm gonna have, you know, in the on the plate, and then I'll have the napkin ring with the napkin in. I'm just gonna slide that in as well. I thought they would be pretty. So I got six of those ones. And I just got lots of different, you know I'm loving berries. So I got them, I think I got 10 of those. I got these bigger ones. So that's what I'm saying, last time when I was saying I get lots of different types because I think they all just look good together. I then got five of these bigger ones to fit in through the garland on the dining table. And then these are the main ones that I've got in my tree. So these ones here that are the, these are just stunning. So they are the ones, and I also, I got some of the, you know, like the, the ribbon that I had. I've got in my tree that's the big thick one. I've still got more of that, but I got this thinner one just to maybe make some smaller one for the dining table. And then I got, how very random, but I seen these apples and I was like, I'm gonna try and make those work. So I'm just gonna put these throughout the actual garland. I literally wanna eat that. <laughs> So that was a couple of the bits that I got. It was really good in there. They've still got loads of stuff. Uh, I do think they're going to start really, I think the next couple of weekends is probably when, I'm so sorry if you can see water on these glasses, I can see the water match there. But I think over the next couple of weekends is when they start to really sell a lot and then they end up not having any left. So I think you can shop online as well. So have a little look if it's something that you're interested in. But you'll be able to get a lot of this in a lot of other shops if you've not got one near you. I also just went into Home Sense and grabbed a couple of little bits i'll show you that i've put that in the back oh my god something that i just loved it was just a small thing but i was like oh my god it made me so happy when i picked it up and yeah i can't wait to show you but yeah there's a lot of different ones i thought these would be good so i've got the garlands that, I'm, that i've got on my fire i've got that so i'm going to use the same one but i'll probably leave it a little bit more sparse i'm going to put my linen tablecloth down or my linen table runner and then i'll have the garland and then i'll put this through i think i'm also going to put the candlesticks as well it's going to feel very christmassy so yeah i just love it is there anything else i bought were they all the same ones yes that's pretty much it that's all i got from inspirations but i'm going to head home i've got so much to do so i'm actually enjoying being out because i'm going to be in that guest room for quite a bit today i'm going to go home and i'm going to do all the caulking i'm then going to do the so i'll do the caulking i'm going to try and do all the wood filling i'm going to try and do all of that stuff today and then if possible then tomorrow get up and just do all the paint and I'm hoping at that point most of it's all done. I'm also going to do the wardrobe tomorrow. That'll probably be what I'll do first before I paint. So I want to put the trim around the wardrobe that I'm doing. So it's I've actually enjoyed being out for a little bit this morning. And it's only it's only half ten. So it's still early on. Still got loads of time in the day to get home and get done what I need to get done. But yeah, I'm just pray for me, people. Pray for me because there's a lot of filling and stuff. Who wants to come and help me? I'm just kidding. We'll get it done. And to be fair, once I get going, I'm going to be good. I think I'll just pop a movie on the TV so I feel like I'm just killing. And then I'm going to go around and just do it all. I'll show you where I'm up to, where I got up to tonight. Hopefully we can get loads done today. Because like I say, the carpet goes down on Thursday. And once that carpet's down, I don't really want to be doing anything in there that is messy. Because I don't want to ruin any part of the carpet. I can't 
wait to show you the carpet that I picked. It is mwah, goes in there really nice. And I've also picked a bed, so I need to get that ordered. The bed that I've picked is shown is not in stock until the 9th of December. Not in a rush for it. Picked an ottoman bed as well. So I'm actually really can't wait for that because that is a and I've gone for a colour. Let me actually show you the bed that I've gone for. Let me show you. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. But I've gone for like a green and um, it's like an ottoman bed as well. So I just want it to feel just different to other parts of my house. So yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going out there. That's not normally like me. Normally I'm, I would choose the safer option and I'm not. I'm choosing that. So that makes me happy. That makes me so, so happy to get that done. I'm procrastinating, aren't I? I am totally procrastinating. Someone's trying to park beside me and I think she's having a difficult time. Um. So yeah, time to get my butt home. Get this sorted. Do you know what else I've been loving recently? And you are gonna say this is like a really, this is a thing that you've probably done a lot of times or like been doing for a long time. Like getting a meal deal and having a sandwich and putting the crisps on the sandwich. Like, why have I never done that before in my entire life? I'm sure you do it, and if you've got any recommendations of a crisp to go on a sandwich, I would love to know, because the other day I had a cheese and ham, a cheese and ham, like, baguette, and I put some salt and vinegar in it, salt and vinegar walkers, and it was life-changing. I'm like, who am I? And why have I not done this before? Because to me, that is just... Because normally I don't like when the bread goes a bit funny, you know, not when it's when it's just like... I call it bread to bread when it's like blah, blah, blah. and when I put the crisps in it just changes the whole feel of the whole sandwich so I've been thinking about that quite a lot that may have to be my lunch today I may grab some one of them before I head home and then we'll be home by lunchtime we'll get everything done that we need to and we're going to have a really productive day i feel like that was really good because i got all that so i'll get to get that filmed and stuff and i'll pop it on all my socials so right i'm gonna go i'm procrastinating let's go and get this done i am back home and it is actually two hours later since the last clip i knit two and at back home, I went to um, Tesco just to get some fajitas for tea. I don't know what it is, but I'm craving fajitas. I wanted to show you a little bit about what I got. I didn't get an awful lot, but I got these. And oh my God, as soon as I seen these, I was like, let me show you them up close because I was like, you need to come home with me. You need to absolutely come home with me because like I've got, oh there's one here. Um, these are just the, the coasters that I use. They're it's like they're a neutral marble, which they're nice. Uh, and I wasn't in the market for anything else. But when I seen, look at this mark, look how chunk, look at that marble. Oh, like, oh what my God, look how chunky they are. As soon as I seen them, I was like, oh, I love the like, the drama of it. Because, you know, plain is good, but just look at the, even the thickness of the marble is like completely different. They are just got such an impact. So they'll look stunning on my reclaimed wooden coffee table. I'm over them and they were literally $6.99 for four. I seen them and I was like, you know what, when I picked them up, I went, oh, I love that marble. And obviously everyone's going to be completely different. So some have got more veining through it. But yeah, the, this color is everything at the minute so i um, made up with those absolute fine and then i also got a couple of coffee table books this one is i don't know if it's igni igni but i literally seen it and i was just like that'll be perfect in my office just simple it's a beautiful book it's actually got sprayed edges as well but yeah literally i'll have a little gander through that tonight but i also seen this one this one's massive um, but this is an Andrew Martin one and I am kind of obsessed by Andrew Martin. I think his designs are incredible. He's got some amazing furniture and yeah, so as soon as I seen that I was like, do you know what, that is great. So I'll have a little look through that tonight and see what else, see what that's made of. But <clears throat> I, I've got to go upstairs and get that room, get start caulking and fill in. That's the job for today. So it's half 12 now. I'm going to have to be at that for a good six, seven hours today, which is a lot. And I was literally sat. As I got home, I had a message from someone 
um, on here who really, really big supporter and always comments and just said could go on and heart the messages a little bit more. And it got me thinking because normally I pride myself on replying to every single message, comment on the videos and heart it. But the last couple of weeks with travelling to London a few times and heading, you know, trying to get this guest room every spare minute, I feel like I'm falling so far behind and I'm trying so hard to make sure that I stay consistent with my two uploads every week. So this video that you're watching now, it's Saturday now, this is due to go live in the morning. Normally I'm a week ahead with my content. Normally I've got like a week's worth of videos come up so I need to get this edited tonight. So I'm going to be upstairs in that room all day today and it's not an excuse because I do need to do better and make sure that I reply. So I just wanted to let that follower know. I just wanted to say I'm so sorry that I've not been replying as much as I would like to. Um, I will get back to it. It's just that the last couple of weeks with like I say with work and travelling and trying to get the content filmed then edited as well as trying to do the guest bedroom because and and, and it's right because normally I would like to heart and then reply to all the comments but what I will do is I will just make sure that I even heart so if I don't have the time to reply to all the comments even if I go through because I genuinely will read all the comments I'll like literally scroll through them go and see all the feedback coming in and what you guys are saying and then I'll think all right let me go and do what I need to do and then I'll reply and then end up just crashing and falling asleep or whatever so but that's not an excuse, that's just me to try and say that's the reason I've not been as on them, but I promise you I will make more of an effort, I will at least heart the comments, and after this guest bedroom's done, which will be, the carpet goes down on Thursday, that's the majority of work needs to be done before Thursday, so that'll free up so much time, so I will be able to reply more, so me not replying doesn't come from a place of me not appreciating, it come, just comes from me just being a little bit busy at the minute, but that will ease off and I will get back to my usual replying and then I can get ahead to my content because I'm really, really trying hard to not miss any uploads for you guys because I promised you that I would do the two uploads every week, so that's just what I'm trying to stick to. I'm sorry, I'm going on, I'm going on. I know. But I just want to say I'm so sorry. That's where this was coming from. And to that supporter, I see all your comments and I see the fact that you comment on every single video. And I appreciate every single one of you. All amazing. And I promise you, I will do better. And um, I'm going to go throw on my scruffs. Look at my marble. <laughs> I'm going to go and throw on my scruffs. I need to go upstairs. I need to get that room sorted. I can't wait for it to be done. You are going to be... I hope you are all going to like it when it gets done. Um, the next video is going to be me of decorating my dining table and doing all my escaping. So hopefully I can get that done at some point, maybe tomorrow evening. So if you like the sound of that, please subscribe. Please like if you're not already. And I will catch you in my next video.